We live in a complex world. In their daily lives, children act like scientists, continually trying to make sense of themselves and their surroundings. This personal curiosity needs to be connected with the facts and theories of science they learn in school. The Enquire learning activities link school science to children's own interests. So, if we start off thinking about human activities, how could they affect wildlife? When you drive a car, it causes air pollution, so it affects the animals and their health, and it also affects our health as well. Good. And noise pollution, it scares animals away from their normal habitat. Good. Children explore science topics that are important to them through a process of inquiry learning. An investigation starts in the classroom introduced by the teacher. Okay, so we've worked through our topic and now we're going on to my inquiry questions. That's what we need to click on next. And carries on at home or outdoors, guided by the inquiry software running on a personal computer. The computer's activity guide takes them through planning their investigation, inputting data, then sharing and presenting the results back in the classroom. If we want to find out how noise affects birds' feeding habits, what data would we need to collect? We need to collect sound data to try and identify noisy and quiet areas. And we need to measure how much food has been eaten in both areas. When we went to the reserve, we walked along the route and we gathered data from different points. I was on um, the laptop typing GPS readings to plot where we was and what we was doing. I took photos of interesting things so that we could remember what happened at the places we stopped. We was um, measuring the sand to see how noisy the place was. We also looked at wildlife and recognised different birds and what they were doing. We found out that the noisiest route was the one near the railway line. We wanted to see if trees were closer together, it would encourage more birds. We um, measured how far the trees were apart at different places around the school. 8.10 metres. And we also measured how much food was eaten over four days. 12.8 grams. OK, so we've collected data from the yard, so now we need to think about what does that data show us? What have we found out about noise on the yard? Yep. We found out that there was a noisy yard and a quiet yard. OK. We thought that there was going to be more food eaten from the quiet yard than the noisy yard. OK, and did we find out that that was true? No, we found out that more food was eaten from the noisy yard than the quiet yard. OK, anything else? We found out that the pigeons ate the most food, but they scared away the little birds. Right. We found out that pigeons aren't affected by noise, but other birds might be. Enquire helps students to engage in science guiding them in the skills of being a careful and creative scientist. You can go to our website to find out more and download the software to try it yourself.